Hello, um, welcome back to a tutorial. So uh, the question 36 says a fruit vendor bought 300 pineapples at 210 shillings for every five pineapples. She sold the pineapples at 60 shillings each. How much profit did she make? Now the first thing you need to understand it, the question said um, um it's a total of 300 pineapples. Okay, so let's establish that fact first. Now for five pineapple. Five pineapple cost 210 shillings. That means one, one pineapple will cost 210 divided by five. So this will give us a two, five into 21, it's four, even that one. Five into 10, it's two. So one pineapple is going to cost 42 shillings. Now, she sold the pineapple at 60 shillings each. Now, that means, the question answers, how much profit did she make? Remember, to get your profit, you need to know your selling price minus your cost price. So this is going to be her selling price was um, 60 shillings. Now her cost price is 42 shillings. 42. So this is going to give us a total of 18 shillings. Okay. So this is her profit. Her profit is 18 shillings. Now. What is her profit? Remember, she made this profit on every pineapple she sold. So total profit, total profit will be 300 times. This is her profit for one, for one. So then her total profit for the 300 will be 300 times 18 shillings. So we multiply our uh, 300 by 18. So let's do 18 times three. Then we we'll put our two zeros. Three times eight is going to give us um, four. Um, carry two. Three times one is Three plus two, that's five. So we put our two zeros. So this is going to be um, 5,400 shillings. So our B is the correct answer here. So we're going to circle my B. Okay, I hope you understood that. And that will take us to question 37. Now, question 37 says Kazungu paid 3,200 3, shillings for an item after getting a discount of 20%. What was the max price for the item? Now, first of all, you need to understand what it meant by discount. Now, discount is actually um, the amount of money that was removed um, for you when you pay for a particular good. It's like a concession. You're supposed to pay three, um, pay a particular amount for that good. So, the the whoever is selling it decides to give you a discount of 10%, remove 10% of the actual price. Okay, so now, is it Kazogo paid... 3,200 for an item. It means when they deducted for an item after getting a discount of 20%, it means after the 20% discount, instead of Kazungu paying the original amount, he now paid 20%. So that means, what was the max price for the item? That means, the, let's say the price of item. Let's price be X. Okay? So that means, X is the price then I subtracted 20% of the discount. That means 20 over 100 of X. Now gave us 3,200. That was what made Kazungu pay 3,200. Now we are going to solve this. This is going to be X minus. Remember, 20 over 100 is going to give us 0.2 X is equal to 3,200. Now, this is going to be, this is like saying 1X minus 0.2. So if you do 1 minus 0.2, you're going to get... 0.8 so this is 0.8 x is equal to 3200 therefore our x will be 3200 divided by 0.8 okay now to solve this because we have a decimal place let us multiply um, both the numerator and the denominator denominator by 10 so this is going to be x will be 32 times 10 over 0 0.8 times 10. Why are we multiplying by 10? So that we can remove the decimal place and solve our question. So this is going to be 32,000 divided by 8. So when you do 8 is here 1, 8 in 32, you're going to get 4, then your triple zeros. That means 32 divided by 0 0.8, we're going to get equal to 4,000 shillings. So that means the actual price you were supposed to pay for that item was 4,000 shillings. Removing 20% discount made him pay 3,200 shillings. So our correct answer here, it's going to be D. So D is the correct answer. Okay, so that will take us to question 38. 
Acrocentase 8 says, a salesman earns a basic salary of 40,000 shillings. He is also paid a commission of 3% of the value of goods he sells above 100,000 shillings. In one month, he sold 20,000 shillings items at 20 shillings each. What was his total earning that month? First of all, you need to understand what is meant by commission. Now, commission is an extra income when you get. Let's assume the company says sell 10. And if you sell 15, they now pay you an extra money for selling the 5. So, that means you're getting what is called commission. So, commission is an extra money you get for go doing, doing a particular job, apart from what you're being given. Okay, so um, now, to calculate this, he says he earns his basic sal salary, it's... 40,000 shillings. Salary, it's 40,000 shillings. Okay? Now, they said he is also paid a 3% of the value of the goods he sells. So, anything above 100,000 is paid um, 3% of it. Now, they said in one month, he sold 20,000 20, shillings items at um, 20 shillings each. Now, so, for us to get what he sold in one month, in one month, that means he sold 20,000 times 20. Okay, so this is going to be 2 times 2 is going to be 4. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we're going to put our 5 zero. Um, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's 400,000. That's what he sold. Now, remember the rule. Remember the rule. If he sells anything above 100,000, he gets 3%. Now, this is 400,000. So, he's going to get his commission. It's now going to be 3% of 400,000. Now, this is going to be 3 over 100 times 400,000. Now, our double zero is going to cancel our double zero. So, we have 3 times 4,000. So he's getting a commission of 12,000 shillings. So this is going to be 12,000 shillings. That's his commission. Now, remember, we want to know his total earning for that month. Remember, his total earning, total earning will now be his salary plus commission. Remember, he's earning a salary. He has a basic salary. And also, he gets commission for selling above up to 400,000. So this is going to be 40,000 plus 12,000 and that is going to give us 52,000 shillings. So that's our final answer, 52,000 shillings. So the correct answer here is going to be D. Okay? So please um before I go forward, if you've not hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That is how you stay updated with us and get more videos. Okay? So taking us to question 39. Wow, this is a very interesting question. Now, um this is like a chart, so um, it's showing a table where, um, okay, it says, Wero posted the following letters. Now, if you look at the table, this is inland. Inland shows all the areas within Kenya. International airmail, airmails, um, this shows the respective region and the cost of posting the letters. Now, let's look at the question. It says, Wero posted the following letters. Now, one letter weighing 101 grams to Kisimu. In Kenya now since let's check from our table 101 gram falls over 100 grams this is where 101 grams falls under now he says he posted it in Kisimu in Kenya so it is still inland so since it's above 101 grams uh, okay let's finish the question he says one letter 101 grams to Kisimu in Kenya one letter weighing 90 grams to Uganda Two letters weighing 80 grams each to Europe. One letter weighing 50 grams to Zambia. How much did he pay for postage? So all we need to do is get the cost he spent for each of these letters. So for posting 101 grams to Kisimu in Kenya, Kisimu falls under inland mills because he's still within Kenya. So now, since it's over 101, that means 101 is going to be for the um, for Kisimu, Kisimu is going to be 50. I guess you understand why we're getting 50 because um, it's inland, which is within Kenya, and it's 101 over 100 to 250 grams. Now, the second one says one letter weighing 
19 grams to Uganda. Okay, so one liter weighing nine, um, 19 grams to Uganda. First of all, you need to ask yourself, where is Uganda located? So from your map, you get to understand that Uganda, um, Uganda is still East Africa. So Uganda is still East Africa. So we're going to look under the um, East Africa table and it says 19 grams. So um, 19 grams fall under, under here. So that means it's 45. So Uganda cost him 45 shillings. Okay, it said two letters weighing 20 grams to uh, each to Europe. Now, 80 grams falls under. We we'll have our 80 grams falling under here. Now, to Europe is 310. But remember, to Europe is twice because there are two letters. So it's 310 plus 310. The reason is there are two letters. So you don't just calculate for one liter. Then the final one is one liter weighing 50 grams to Zambia. Okay? So for Zambia, Zambia it's um, more or less like um, southern part of Africa. So it's the rest of Africa. And since it's weighing 50 grams, so it says, um, this one says up to 50 grams. So Zambia it's going to be 100. So we'll put our 100 here. Then we're going to sum this up. So, summing it up, we have 310 plus 310, that will give us 620. 620 plus 100 is going to give us 720. 720 plus 50 is going to give us 770. Then we'll add our 45. This is going to give us 5. 7 plus 4 is 1. You carry your 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. So, it's going to give us a total of 815 shillings. So, let's check our table to see if we're going to see our answer. Yet, our correct answer here it's going to be B. So I'm going to circle B as a correct option. Okay, so that will take us to question number 40. Now it says the higher purchase price of a sewing machine is made up of a deposit of 4,000 shillings and 18 equal months installments of 1,200 shillings each. Wanja was allowed a 20% discount on, a, on the higher purchase price for buying the sewing machine on cash. How much did she pay? Now, you need to understand this question. If you're going for a higher purchase, higher purchase is like you have to pay over a period of time. Now, they are saying the person is going to pay 18 equal months and make a deposit of 4,000, then instrumental payment of 1,200 each. But if the person is going to pay the full price, he gets a 20% discount. So how much did she pay? Now, the first thing you need to do is what will the higher purchase price cost because um, the discount is on the higher purchase price so the higher purchase price is going to be first a deposit of 4,000 plus then 18 months times 1,200 so when we do 1,200 times 18 let's multiply 18 by 12 2 times 18 is 36 1 times 18 is 18 this will give us um, 6 3 plus 8 we're going to get an 11 1 carry 1 that's 216. Remember our double zero because it says 1200. So this will put your 20. So this is going to be 4000 plus 21600. So when you add 4000 to this, you're going to get um, 2. 1 plus 4 will give us 5. Um, then you get your 600. Now this is the higher purchase, higher purchase price. Now, remember the nurse said, if Wanja was to pay for the machine and like on full price, it's going to be a 20% discount. So this is going to be 20 over 100 times 25600. So double zero cancel the double zero. We have two times 256. So let's do that. 256 times 2. 2 times 6 is going to give us 12. Carry one, two times five is ten plus one, eleven, eleven. You carry your one, two times two is going to be four plus one, that's five. That's five one two. So, um, five one two. Then we have our one zero. So that means the discount it was given was, um, she was given was five thousand one two zero. So, to get the exact price, since the higher purchase price is this, and if she's paying full, she will get a discount of this. Then price paid, since she wants to pay for, will not be 
25600 minus 5120. Now this will give us 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus, okay, let's do that. So 25600, we subtract 5120. So this is going to be 0 minus 0 is 0. And 0 can minus, we do 6, here is the many 5. 10 minus 2, we get 8. 5 minus 1, we get 4. And uh, 5 minus 5, we get 0. Then you bring down our 2. So this is going to give us um, 2480. So this is 20,480 shillings. So our correct answer here, it's B. B is the final answer. So that will take us um, to question 41. Okay. Now, question 41 says, why am I deposited um, at 4,000 in a bank, which pays simple interest at a rate of 10% per annum? How much money altogether did he get if he withdrew all the money with the interest and at the end of seven months? Now, first of all, let's calculate the um, interest. You remember your simple interest, PTR over 100, where P is your principal, T is the time, R is the rate. Now, this is going to be, uh, the principal is 84,000. The time per annum is one year. Now, times um, the rate is 10%, all divided by 100. So your double zero, we can see your double zero. That means the interest is 840 times 10, which is 8,400 shillings. Now, the question now says, how much money altogether did he get if he withdrew all the money? Now, this is what um, he's supposed to get at interest. How much money altogether did he get if he withdrew all the money with the interest and at seven months? Okay, now... So you need to realize that this is the interest for 12 months. So you have to be very careful with this question because it's a very tricky one. So for us to get the interest of for 7 months, we need to find the interest for 1 month. That means for 1 month, what is the interest? That is going to be uh, 8,400 divided by 12. 8,400 divided by 12. So, um... We might need to do this, so that will give us um, 84 into 12. Let's do the long division method. 12 into 84, um, we have um, 12 times 6 is um, 72, 72, 12 times 7 should be 84. So this is 7, 12 times 7 will give us um, 84. You have your 0, so you put your 0, 0. So now that means the interest for one month is going to give us um, 700 shillings. That means for seven months, for seven months, that means the interest will now be seven times 700, and that will give us 4,900. Now, what if he decides to withdraw all his money? Remember his capital, his principal, or his capital, let's call it the principal, it's 84,000. Then his interest is 4,900. When you sum it, you will not get his total money withdrew. That's 8 plus 8. Uh, this is um, 0. This is 0. This is 9. This is 4 plus 4. That's 8, 8. So this is 88,900. So C is the correct answer. This is a, a very tricky question. So you need to be careful while trying to solve it. And that will take me down to question 42, which says... Which one of the following represents the ratio two over um, two is to five expressed as a percentage? Now this is two is to five, so all you just do is two over five times hundred over one. Five year one, five year twenty. So two times twenty is going to give you forty percent. So the final answer here is B. Okay, so thank you for staying with us through this series, and um, the next question will be question forty three. So please, if you've not hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell beside so you can get updates from us. Thank you.